In 1924, Ryall Reed bought the Andrusia Lodge from the original owner who built all the log cabins. The daughter of Ryall, Helen Reed, visited the area on August 13th to reminisce about the past. We'll watch and listen to Helen as she talked about what it was like to be at this resort back in the early 1920s. This is the inside of the big log lodge where there were weddings and dances, well, not every night, but probably on the weekends. This lodge, well, beautiful as it was, burnt down in the 1950s after the new owners took over. As Helen walked through the facility, there were two log cabins still standing from the 1924 era. Inside the maze lodge were two large fireplaces and an area for dancing and just lounging around. The bar was made of logs standing vertical. We'll look at a number of photographs that were taken many years ago. Some of these photographs came by postcard from a Mr. Uh, Dennis Tweed, I think his name was, and a lot of them were uh, in the private collection of uh, Ron and Barb Durazio. Now, how's that for fishing? I don't know what the limit was back in those days. In the early 1950s, when I was about 10 years old, I used to go over to the resort and I loved visiting that old log lodge. It was very sad when that burnt down. The new owners were uh, Elaine and Jerry Serban. Uh, before that, it was, the, uh, was uh, the, the Cornwells. These old photographs we got from Helen. I never saw them before. They looked like black and white prints. And the gentleman in the back is Lyle Reed. I never met him because I was way too young then. I don't know who the lady was. Oh yes, they had a his and hers outhouse. Not quite sure how that worked. Okay, now this is one of the original cabins. The log part was built in 1924. And that was probably when you, that was here, when you were could, up here. Could, could very well have been. Yes, yeah. <coughs> There's only parts of three cabins left now of the original resort. But our grandson is determined that it's going to make it for another 10 years, so it'll be 100 years yeah. old. So we hope that that can be. We have a good time down here around the fire and have a good family group uh, mm -hmm. many, many nights during the summer. It's no, fun. that's not the original dock. No, no the original dock was, the, yeah, was, was way for, up uh, yeah. on the other side of these cabins. This was the last dock as far as what we know the yeah. resort was. They, this was the last dock in the resort. And the little, there was always a little swimming beach down mm -hmm. here. Uh -huh. Do you hear the wolves at night? Uh, not, not really. More they're they're a little mm, northwest they, of the midget. They used to howl something off. I bet they did. No. You used to hear wolves at night? They, what did he say? He asked if you heard wolves at yes. night. Yes. You could hear them across the lake. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's all they sounded. Something like that. Now, how old were you when your father and mother were here at the resort? Well, like I said, I remember that I was here in 1927 because I was 10 years old. My mother died in 1928 in February, so I definitely know when I was up here then. And the last time that I probably was up here was when I was 16 years old, so to be in the 1930s, so I'm 97, so. Now, did, did your father build all the log cabins? He did, no, he did not. Okay. They were, he bought this property and all the cabins were on it, including the lodge. Who did he buy it from? 
I have no clue. It, I believe it was called the Lake Andrusia Investment Group. Okay. And um, they s built it, and then they sold it soon after they built it. Do you know when your father built, uh, bought it? The what? What year did your father buy the resort? Do you know? That I don't know, but I do know that all my sisters and brothers were already born, and my youngest sister is born in 23. Okay. So I know that he was here then. Whether he was here, or, and he may have been here earlier, like 1920, but I would doubt very much that it was much earlier than mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Who did your father sell it to? Is that Reed's? No, mm -hmm. her father was the Reed, right? Yeah. yeah oh. I'm not married, so I, my name is Reed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how and did the Cornwall Lesh get involved in the Cornwalls? That Reeds? would have been who bought it, I think, from the Reeds. Where Bessie Lesh and George Cornwall, um, yeah. back in, I don't know how, how long they've had it. Maybe the late 40s, early 50s? I know that... Uh, after he sold it, the lodge burned down. Yes. And then the people who bought it, I, I, this is hearsay because mm -hmm. I, I, I wasn't here. They, I evidently built some living quarters uh, someplace where the lodge was. Right, in front of where the lodge was. And what it was was really just a walkout basement lodge. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have pictures of yeah. that to show you. Yeah. Yes. And so, Dave remembers the old lodge. Well, we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll go upstairs to the house and sit down and show you some pictures. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Which way are we headed now? Up this hill. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Because we've got the cart. So. You're doing wonderful. But you've never had to have uh, hip surgery. You've never had hip surgery. See, I haven't either. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. So many friends have plum full. Okay, come on up here. I will do that. Then I can use that. Yes. We're going to just sit out here and talk and visit and look at pictures. I'm Helen Reed. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. I used to live up here at the summer resort with my family. My dad was Raoul Reed, and he lived here for at least 20 or 25 years that I know of. And I had four brothers and sisters, and we really, I've always wanted to come back up here. And I, I think it's been maybe in the 30s was the last time that I came here. And I'm up here today in August of 2014. Now, Raoul Reed was your father. What was your mother's name? My mother's name was Eva Reed. Okay. And my stepmother's name, she lived here actually longer, was Ann Tennis Reed. Now, in the family... Your father sold the resort? When, how, how old were you when the resort was sold? Well, I was born in 1917, and he was still here, I'm quite sure, in 1945. So, 2023. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, Barbara, we have some photographs and things to, or questions to ask that you may want to bring up that I'm not thinking of. Well, I think one important thing, she said her brother did come up here after the war, yes. after World War II. And he came up to be at the lake. Then the war was over, what, 44? 45. 45, so it would have to be at least after 45 that he, my dad was still here. But I do not remember. Do you remember any funny situation or something unusual that happened here when you were a girl? 
Yes, I do. Oh, goody. <laughs> my brother, Robert, was really, liked to pull tricks up my dad. <clears throat> we had the dock out there, and he rigged up a, he had made a, uh, carved a hand out of some wood, put some string on it, put some uh, brackets on the end of the dock, under the water, and wired that hand so that he could stand at the far end of the dock and pull on it, and the hand would go down and come up if he let loose of it. So he, one day when there was a bunch of uh, guests here, he was playing his trick down there, and the people were running all over, running up to get other people to see this hand that was coming up. Oh, so that my dad came down too. And so my brother pulled the hand, and my dad looked at it it's sort of funny. He finally figured out what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> that was really a funny thing that happened up here. <laughs> Did you have any bear problems? Uh, did you have black bear problems? Black bear problems? Yeah. The, never the, saw one. <laughs> never saw one? No. <laughs> That's amazing. She did say she heard the wolves. Yeah, I already yes. told you about the yes. wolves. And, and then she also told me about, as we were going through the where the resort used to be, she told me about the big lodge and the dances that they yeah. had in the big lodge. Oh, I remember the dances. Do you remember the dances? Yes, I used You're to come to them. You're not old enough. Pardon? You're not old enough. I'm 75. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. But I would come over to the weddings to see the dances and so yeah. forth. You ever remember uh, Harry Johnson? Does that ring a bell? Ha Agnes and Harry Johnson? No. Okay, yeah. maybe after your time. You know, uh, in those years, what did I... Uh, I think it was after I used to come up here. We used to get a lot of people from the covered wagon in Minneapolis. In fact, I have pictures of it. Uh, they'd get a big tour bus and they'd fill that up and come up here and go fishing. They just loved to fish. So, yeah. Were there any fights at the wedding or at this resort? Or was it pretty calm around here? Never heard. I don't ever remember a fight. But you had bands that huh? would you had bands, oh, music yeah, groups that would yeah, come and play, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, there were there were named bands that came up here and played. Really? Well, I can tell you one thing. Uh, Al Capone was supposed to be up here one time. My dad always told that story. Whether he was up here or not, I don't know. But they were up here in the summer resorts, and yes. and we used to get the. Uh, feds or whoever they were looking for people selling alcohol, so <laughs> never got caught. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I think the funniest story is about Helen and you tried to. She hit how he got there one time. She did? Yeah, when she was a young girl. And so two guys picked her up. <gasps> and they were, they, were report, they, they were reporters from the Minneapolis Star and Tribune. And he my, told her. My dad. He, didn't think much of taking us out of school in the spring to make sure we're here for opening fishing season. And one time he brought my sister, who was three years younger than I am. I was probably 13. And he brought, came up here, got some milk and stuff from Larson's farm, had a few supplies. And we, our job was to clean the cabins and get things ready. And as soon as it started getting, we stayed in the lodge up in the, the bedroom up there. There was a bedroom in there. Okay. And as soon as it get dark, we we're so scared we'd go to bed right away. But one night I heard something. The kitchen was facing the road away from the lake. And we're getting ready for bed, and I thought I heard noise on the other side of the kitchen door where the entry was to the building. And my dad left a shotgun with me. So I, I'm sitting on the stove. that was, It wasn't turned on. It was an old wood stove. And I was sitting there with that gun across my knees. And I, I swore I heard something. So I aimed at the door and shot. Now, <laughs> stupidest thing I think I've ever done, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What so, happened after that? Was 
nothing. nothing happened, so we went to bed, you know, my sister and I. I don't think I ever told my dad I did that, <laughs> but there were holes in the door where I shot. I shot low, so you know, about a foot off the floor, so. Yeah. I think he figured it out, he saw yeah. the holes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, well, you can keep going. You can tell all these secrets now. We yeah. don't care. Well, yeah, Why nobody the... else cares either. They're all gone, you know. Only my brother, my youngest brother, who's a half-brother, uh, he's named after my dad. And, we're, and I'm left. The rest of them are all, they've all passed away, so. One yeah. of the things when we made the tour that I found interesting was that she said there was another building besides all oh, the 13 yeah. cabins. There was another building on the other side of cabin one, which was called just the big cabin. Yeah. And, and where was cabin one at? Cabin Spar one is where um, the far, we where far end. west, yeah, the south far end. end, the southwest end. Okay. And that was, um, that's where um, Nelson's house is now, close to where cabin okay. one was. But she said there was another yeah, cabin the, beyond there that. There was the lodge like that, cabin one, two, three, then you went up a slight hill, and the big cabin, and it was a big cabin. It had yeah. a lot of rooms in it. Huh. I can't believe that well, that's... I think I remember that. I mean, Do you? I think, but I... I've never seen any pictures or anything of that, that big cabin. Right. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of pictures, uh, give me that pile for a second. I want to give you one at a time so I don't confuse you. Now, this one, I think, is you. No. I, it's not, not you. you? No. In oh. fact, I... It, the, it's okay to say it is, you know. Yeah, I think the <laughs> towel looks like my brother Rob, but the other one, it could be my sister Rhoda, but I'm not sure of that. Okay. It looks like Bob. Take that with you now. This one here is of the lodge before it burnt down. I think these are the people that bought it from your oh, folks. Yeah, I don't remember. That's, that's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And then these are some of the cabins after we bought yeah, it. Yeah, after, uh -huh. yeah. It's but this is the that, lodge, yeah. and this this must be the bedroom that was upstairs. No, no, See the there, window? It wasn't, no, it was just a real high ceiling. Oh. There was, it was, okay. and this tree grew, the tree grew uh, through the roof, the oak tree, and it was right in the middle of the dance floor. And if it was, wind was blowing or storming, that thing was moving, you know, creak, 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 creak. So, yeah. this, this, this was the kitchen. Okay. And the bedroom, the only bedroom up there was behind the kitchen. Now later on, after I was gone, I think they put some be uh, bedrooms oh, okay. to rent out there. Mm -hmm. But the rest of this was all the dance floor. Okay. Wow. But I have pictures too that show what he did with it. He put a little store in there and they had a restaurant and oh, stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah. But when I was there, there wasn't, uh, they served some meals in the dance hall. In the dance hall, yeah. There, there's my dad. Oh, that's in the... Oh, Here he's in the neat. store, pouring a drink there. Oh. And so. <laughs> huh. Look at... Okay, I need to... This is my brother Raleigh that lives in paradise now, but he's 81 now. Okay. Now this is, this is the lodge inside? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And that's not the regular dances. This is years later. There was just, I suppose, by where the bar was in the store there. The two dancers here, this is Robert Reed and Rhoda Reed. Her brother and sister. Yeah. And that has to be after he was left, after the war was over. So okay. it's, got, it's got to be after 45, so. Next page. That's incredible. Because this kid was born in 1933. That's Raleigh. And he looks, what, 10 or 12 That's there? I'd say, yeah. So that would be 40, 1945. Okay. Next picture. <laughs> Those boys, they didn't have partners. Oh, this is back to the first one. we got to go to this one. 
Oh, this is the one. That's this is my. Uh, is there something on the other side? Yeah, it says. No, that's. It says people from the covered wagon, yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah. Is that? That's a, yeah. That's this one. That's my dad there. Where's your dad? Yeah, Raul Reed. Right here. Right. Yeah. And what do I say on the back? It's people from the covered wagon, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ed Ray Reed's Lake Andrusia Lodge. And this is another picture of it. Turn that around so you can see it, Barb. Uh, look I mean, at the, you the picture. You can see the fish. Yeah, yes, look at all the fish. Turn the picture on. Well, this has got to be cabin five, and this has to be cabin six. That would be down the hill. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You want to look at this one now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, here they came on the bus. These are the the covered wagon guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. And do you know what that covered wagon, what was that? Was that a home was they a, lived in? A, or a, it was the night club in downtown Manhattan. Hmm. See if I see. Oh, neat. See if I say anything on here. We gotta make some copies of these. No, it's just there were probably a bunch of boss. <laughs> well, here's somebody. That, There's another closer picture of the the bus. That's the same guys, but it's a little this closer. This is Apple. I I know one guy on there. What was his name? Vernon Apple. Right here. Yeah. Vernon Apple. Here it, they all are when they either are coming or going. They're ready to go home. It looks like. Look at all of them. And that was from the Covered Wagon Nightclub, that group. Yeah, oh. downtown Minneapolis. Oh, that's fun. In fact, I, I used to check hats there when I was in my <laughs> late teens. <laughs> she checked hats there. Yeah. Oh, cute. What is this what, little? Where was that? Who is this little guy? Here, just put it in the back. Yeah. Except I'm going to take him out and make some copies Oh, later, okay. If that's okay. Who's this little guy? Oh, look at Ryan. This is right down on the that's main dock, right. and look at the old minnow shed. That's where I brought that one along. Oh, neat. See, and that up here is the lodge. Yes. So, yeah. Look at. Yep. Oh. We'll get oh. it. We'll rescue it. And this is the main dock. That's and, right. And yeah. who is this? Do you know? It's my brother Raleigh, the one from Paradise. Oh. That's when he was. And this is cabin, this we call cabin four and cabin five Could there. Could be, yeah. yeah. What's the one below it? This is four and this is five and then this is six. No, the photo. Oh. This is the minnow shed. Yeah. No. And there should have been an ice house back of there. So. Oh, we didn't ever have an ice house. You know, no. Yeah. no. Every late, late in the winter, my, uh, my dad and uh, the fellow that helped him with the nets and keeping up stuff the, used to go and cut ice and put it in the, and that lasted all summer, so. Oh, this is a good picture. <laughs> this is a good picture. <laughs> That's the, the outhouse. The outhouse, <laughs> yeah. Who's That's this, me. Who's the top one here? And Say again. That's you? Yeah. Which <laughs> one? I'm trying to. Oh, okay. I can't think of that girl's name. And this must be the door, the the lodge. I don't have their names. Yeah. I know her, but I can't think of her name. That's my dad and his youngest, Raleigh. That's okay. So I can tell you it's about 1935, yeah. wow. this picture. Because he looks like about two years yeah. old, doesn't he? Uh-huh. <coughs> I thought I, I threw this in because I thought you'd oh, get a I'm kick. Oh, I'm so glad there. you brought these. What is there? Original paddle boat? That's in front of the main lodge there. Hmm. And this, <laughs> you know, the main lodge was like, then there was a road that ran. Behind it. And then up on the hill was the toilet. <laughs> that's where you went. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 
Oh, this is on. This is on. No, in this. Saint Paul. Yeah, this. This just. Ha this belongs. Uh, <coughs> I have a genealogy book, and I took oh, them out of there. Yeah. Here, here's some more. This is it. There's the launch. Is here's this the, the old launch? That's the oh, old launch. Oh my goodness. This was pulled up on the beach down here by cabin 13 when we bought the resort and our kids played in it like a playhouse and the resort guest kids played in it like a mm. playhouse. Okay, here are some of the, here's the lodge and then here are some of the cabins. Yeah. This one says cabin 1. See late 20s, 30s, 40s, that's uh -huh. all. Uh-huh. And look at the inside, the big stone fireplace. Look at the fish in this picture, and it says 1930. Yeah, you can't take that many walleyes anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> now, is that the same picture? No, that's not the same picture. No, that's my uncle, one of my uncle, my step uncles. Okay, okay. This is my own, that's my dad's brother. Okay. <coughs> wow. I didn't want to have to pull the pictures out to just oh, bring no, the lodge no. ones. So. Dining room in Reeds Lake yeah. Andrusia Lodge. No, I think there should be here look further on. I hope I've got them. Oh, there's the main dock. Look at this you might be interested in. Oh, look at the It brochure. was in the St. Paul Dispatch. Oh, it was. Oh, yes. Oh, my Here. goodness. Sunday, June 7th, 1942. Oh, be darned. Huh. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at those big walleyes. <laughs> now, this is, doesn't belong to it. It's yeah. another picture of my dad. Simply yeah. for the Oh, G these came from Malak. Someplace else. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> but these came from here. Well, I think if that's, I'm sure they were. Yeah. yeah, it says, it says right there. Huh. I think maybe that was the last year of good fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and those are those other ones. That, these, are, these are wonderful. I've got to get copies of all these. This is wonderful. You can do it with your, with your camera rather than scan them. We'll get it right on top. And Okay, now this is I can my put dad. It on my copy machine too. Oh, there. oh, you got right. Uh huh. Oh, this is the one I gave to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And see my. And where is it? They and my sister-in-law sent me these. Oh, okay. Hilltop cabin. And yes, which we called number four. I mm -hmm. see. Uh huh. And then they just went on down the hill. That and was that was the lodge, and that's that picture I have. And there's the main dock. Yeah. Yes. And we used to string the, leave them out there so deep. Yes. Yes. Now we got this thing from Mike Tweed, who lives in Cass Lake. <laughs> My sister-in-law in California was on the internet looking for stuff, and she found this. Mike Tweed, who says stay, he stays at Joe's Lodge. Evidently, he's there now. And he found a sold postcard. He sent me some too. I think. He sent yeah. Dave some. And yeah, um, and so mm -hmm. the stuff. So we have that same one. Have you? Dave yeah. does. Yes. And then with this. Then one. you have that one. And That's I'm not the sure bigger one that we yeah. have there. But this you don't have. No, no, none of these. These are wonderful. Ah, oh, fun, just fun to see these. I'm having as much fun doing this as you are. Well, you have to what? I'm having just as much fun doing this <laughs> as you are. This is really interesting, really interesting. Are you one of these bathing beauties? This is my mother and my stepmother. Okay. Can you, she worked for us. Oh really? Yeah. Here at the at the resort. Yeah, yeah. And then after your mother died, your yeah. father married yeah. Eva. Yeah. Uh huh. Eva was that, and that's Anne. That's my mother, my stepmother. And this is the same ones. And this is my. This is just a friend of okay. my stepmother. And this is my mother. And that's my brother Bob Florence. Me and Rhoda. Oh, fine. 
And look at them on their launch. Can you tell who that yeah, is? That's my cousin, Juliet. She's 16 on there. And my mother, my brother, Bob, Rhoda, me, and the two younger ones, I'm quite sure which is one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. In fact, see how little my sister Mary Jane was. I'm holding her up on the edge of the thing. Oh, so. yes, yeah. And this is the next one. I'm the oldest. This one, Florence is behind there, Rhoda and Mary Jane. So she looks like about two, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't look very And old. on there, I'm probably about nine. Because she's six and a half, seven years younger than I am. Okay, and, mm. and how many brothers and sisters do you have left now? Just mine, just Raleigh. He just, isn't on here. He wasn't born yet. Okay. And he's the one in Paradise, yeah. California. My. Oh. Incredible. You've done a good job of keeping the history. And what is it? You've done a good job of keeping the history. Well, <clears throat> I've got a huge... These pictures came out of a book about that thick of, and it's pictures of everybody, uh, all of the relatives. Oh, you know. sure, sure, yes. In fact, here are the two youngest girls. Mary Jane, she died three years ago. Rhoda died in 2001. So, and she was 88 when she died, yeah. But she looks like she's about <coughs> two there. Yes, and this is you? No. So the next one. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So. Well, it's no, incredible. I, I was bigger than that there, so. Well, I have, to, yeah. I have to show you one thing in my album. Okay. Because this is, um, this is the launch that they built after the fire. After See, the fire. Yes, yeah. it was kind of built into the hill. And then those cabins that we were looking at in there are these two, four and five, which you called the hilltop, I think, in that yeah. book. And then here's the minnow shed. And the main dock was right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Here's a better picture of the minnow shed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then I wanted to show you, see, this is our brochure that we had for the resort. And that was the main dock, and then this yeah. was in front of the lodge at the top of the Already hill. Already it looks better. <laughs> yeah. And then all the cabins, we, we just, this showed the beach, and then all the this is the inside of the lodge and some mm. of the fishermen. This is me, me water skiing. How about that? That was a long time ago. And what's this? Well, Ron and a friend built that playhouse for the oh. kids. Yeah. Mm. Our, our daughter had played in that a lot when she yeah. was little. And our son would scare them when they want to try to sleep mm. out there yes, or something. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And yeah, then here are that. here are all the cabins. This would be cabin one. Mm -hmm. This was cabin two, right here, yeah. and three. Mm -hmm. And then over here, four and five were yeah. on the hill. Yeah. And then six was on down. Right here is six. And that's this one. And this is cabin seven. And it was a pretty big cabin. It had two bedrooms on each side and then a living room and kitchen in the middle. And then this was eight and nine. And now this is what we have left. This is this is ten, which they're rebuilding down there. Yeah. And this is eleven, which is just part of it left. And then this is the I told you how yeah. we built the two two yeah. together. That's the big one that we had. And we have the one half of that left now that we're using. I think that's probably the most interesting things to you. That was one of our postcards. And this is this is Ryan and I. We got married the summer my parents bought the resort. Oh, for heaven's sake. And then sake. we finished college up here at Bemidji State. Ryan oh, got his yeah. master's oh. and I got my degree. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then these are just yeah. different pictures. Yeah. Here's, here's Ryan. 
way back when. Who's that? That's Ron. Oh, for heaven's sakes. And this is my brother, Ron. I have a husband named Ron and a brother named Ron. <laughs> Didn't recognize uh, no. Johnson's <laughs> Resort. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what uh, we called it Johnson's now. Lake Andrusia Resort. And this was just a picture of the Where lake. We all? And these are just pictures yeah. of different customers, you know. You yeah. But we still caught fish. Are you born in Minnesota? Look at No, Iowa. Are oh, you born in Iowa, huh? Yeah. I see. So I just can't see, believe I'm up here sitting. Put land down oh. there. Oh, it's so fun. Look at all the fish. See, we still caught fish. I don't know. Uh, yep, you did too. Look at those fish. Yeah. Now, did your parents and, or or your dad and your stepmom, did they live up here during the winter? Did they live here all winter? No. I don't think they were up no, here in the winter They just were here. Because he used to like summer. to go ice fishing in the winter, but I think they always went to Mille Lacs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Uh, yeah. Because the winters are pretty cruel. Well, it wasn't the... Uh, this is the lodge in, in, in the snow. The lodge is near <laughs> But all you can see is the <laughs> chimney. Yeah. I don't know if you had this when, when they had the docks out. It was the thing no. you put the boats in and you turned them over to get the water out of them. No. Yeah. It was fun. Mm. We had that for quite a while. So did you actually, did you throw the snow out there? There's a lot of snow. Oh, yeah. I didn't have a snow blower either. Uh, but you plowed, you plowed all out there. No, I didn't have a plow. Uh -huh. A shovel. You shovel, huh? You shoveled a lot of snow. And if we put a flag up, the county would come in and plow out nice. our driveway. I see. Yeah. So. But that, th this is mostly, we did have a pontoon boat, which was nice for the yeah. resort to have but that. But back then, it was And then this, this was, our, our son was born in Bemidji, and so was our daughter. Yeah. Both were born Fuel in Bemidji. Fuel injection? Yeah. yeah. Boy, half the Here's time Ron with our son when he was just little. It would get flooded. And, yeah. <laughs> but there are lots of... Fun times. Well, you're accumulating a lot of pictures from yes, up here. I did. I've tried real oh, hard to I keep mean, track of you it. You really, you got it nice and neat. Ron taught at the college, and yeah. a bunch of his friends would come out every year and help put in the docks. Yeah. And um, then they'd go fishing, the and we'd have a big fish oh, yeah. fry. You have to take it out, huh? Oh, yeah. It rolls. It rolls. I see the wheels. These are going to be yours. These, those are what? He's a, giving these well, to you. The these resort. photographs will be yours. Oh, He's giving those to you. Oh! Hey, Ben, you have to pull the books out too, then you pull them up. Oh, leave, it your, yes. leave it in your book here for your storage okay. back here in the garage. Oh. And you took pictures of all those? Yeah. And those will come out okay? I don't need to copy them on my yeah, copy machine. Well, I'm doing at least 36 on here. Well, um, Helen, where do you go from here? Well, we're going up to Bemidji and stay overnight. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then you, you're mm. driving back to Minneapolis and tomorrow, tomorrow sometime? Yeah. We're going by way of Mille Lacs and we're going down a different way than we came up. Yeah. Just to see, what see the scenery. You know, once someone like yourself leaves, we think of all kinds of questions to ask you. And then, it, well, then we can't. So I'm trying to get you to think in the past, and what did you do for fun when you were work, when you were here as a girl? Were you working for your dad, or were you playing, or both? Well, when we lived at the lodge here, everybody worked. Everybody had a job to do. I went, did a lot of cooking, even as young as I was, and cleaned a lot of fish. Yeah. <laughs> Cooked a lot of fish. My sisters helped clean the cabins. My brother helped my dad with uh, keeping up the grounds and stuff. And of course, we had the dances and stuff, and that was always fun. But we're we're kept pretty busy. It wasn't. We didn't play a lot up here. We went swimming a lot. Well, well when you. When you came off the gravel road and turned into the resort, yes. that one turn at Ben 
was always very soft sand. Yes, it was. It was then too. Yeah. I remember cars would get stuck in it. It was sugar sand or something. <laughs> they finally closed that road off and covered it with dirt or something. But Really? It's not was, there anymore. Was it a, no, no it's, it's gone. Yeah. It's part of some property. But it, it was sh soft sand when you were a girl too. Yes, then. it was. Okay. Very, very soft. So, And you came in, went to Joe's place to the right. Andrew's Lodge to the left. I saw the sign. I don't. Yeah. I don't recall that. Um, I don't remember that what they called it, but I remember it was soft. You know. Okay. So. What else can I relate to that I can't think of right now? Um, when you had, now you were you were up here only when school was out. Well, and, sometime a little before school was oh, out. Oh, yeah. well, where where did you live then? Before. Before you came up for the summer, where was your hometown at? What was our hometown? Yeah, where did you Saint live Paul. at? St. Paul. Oh, you're always in that area. Yeah, all, oh, okay. I was born in St. Paul. Oh, okay, all right. All, all the kids were. So. At, at what point did you stop coming up here? Well, I think it would have to be around, it would be before 1933, because I wasn't up here when my youngest brother was born. And he was born in 1933. So that was probably about the time that I stayed in the city and worked, because I was working at Montgomery Wards. Oh, OK. When you were here in the summertime with your father, did you ever go out fishing? Did he ever go out? No, did you? No. You were too busy. Very, very rarely. Yeah. She just fried the fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, we uh, were too busy to... Well, didn't you ever sneak out and go to town and didn't tell anybody? Yeah. I and mean, that's where the boys were. <laughs> I, we, we, we did a little fishing, maybe off the dock or something, but no, we never really went out for the day and went fishing. My dad was really busy fishing. He had another uh, factor fellow from Bemidji that uh, was his, helped him with guiding, taking customers out, so. You never hitchhiked into Bemidji for the afternoon and hitchhiked back? Mm. You probably did, you're not, you're not gonna tell us, that's all. <laughs> but I did hitchhike from the city up here one time. And you mentioned that earlier. Huh? From the cities to here. <laughs> that, that, was that in the spring or the I fall? Got, I got lonesome for the folks and the family. So, and I didn't have a car at the time. How old were you? 16 or 17, maybe. Maybe, I'm not quite sure. Because I did have a car when I was 16, 17. I bought a car. <coughs> so I'm not really quite sure how old I was, but I was a teenager. And I, <coughs> on the road, I barely got out of St. Paul and a couple of, Newspaper reporters from the Star Tribune picked me up and really chewed me out for being on the road, <laughs> and they took me all the way up here. And they took you up here. Yeah, they were on their way to Bemidji. So. Well, if your folks were here, who were you staying with in St. Paul then? A friend and I had an apartment. At seventeen. Yeah. Well, you're a very progressive lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a car and an apartment at seventeen. Yeah. Well, I think there's some more stories here we can yeah. dig out. Yeah. <laughs> I should have brought my picture of my car, shouldn't I, Paul? Oh, yes, you should have. 1931 oh, Cabriolet Coupe Chevy oh. with a rumble seat on it. it mm. well, well, I things were a lot different that time. She tells about when she bought the first car mm -hmm. down on the University Avenue. She went right down and bought the car. I never drove a car before. Get right in the car. And drove right out of the lot. No driver's license or nothing. You didn't oh. have to have it. We didn't right have to have a driver's license. Yeah. Right oh, now. okay. Right out of university in Snelling, yeah. just heavy traffic. <laughs> university in Snelling. Oh. Well, that's the way you did back in those I, days. I uh, drove up here a couple of times with that car. You did? The kids liked to ride in the rumble seat. Oh, you know? sure. And I can remember changing the oil up there in front of the lodge. My dad showed me how to do it. How to change know. the oil. Yeah. All it was was a pan that you unscrewed. <laughs> and this car was a 1931 show. So. Oh my. What color was it? Sort of a dark green. 
oh, darker than that chair underneath oh, there. My. Did any of the local native Indians stop by to help or visit? The who? And the the, the Indians? local Indians. They, they stop by and try to help once in a while? Well, yeah, during the dances, <coughs> if you'd look out the windows, we had screens, you know, and all the Indians would stand outside and look and watch us dance in there. Huh? Oh. They wouldn't come in? Mm. No. I don't know why, don't ask me, <laughs> you know. But she did ask me about Chief Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes, yeah. Oh. He was... Up uh, north here. Yeah. Did you, did you ever go up there to see him? I never was up there. My dad knew them real well, and he he saw them a lot. He went hunting with the Indians sometime, and out of season, I imagine. So. Well, we saw a cemetery there. We have it on film. I heard that, out of season. Uh, but I never saw a house, but apparently there was a house further back in. Did you ever hear about a house up there where Chief Blue Eyes was? I never was up there, so I... <clears throat> now, I did go to an Indian cemetery with a friend one day, and my little brother was along, because I have a picture of, the, of a grave, an Indian grave. Was that up know. north or south of here, remember? Yeah, it's some, the lake. I'm not sure where it was. There still went over across yeah. the lake. Near the bridge down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So still one. Ron, what are we missing? How about Whiskey Mary? Oh, yes. Yeah. I never met her, but was always taught about a lady yeah, that, up here called uh, Whiskey yeah. Mary. I, it seems to me I heard that too. <clears throat> the only one I know of with a name is Chief Blue Eyes. And he had blue eyes. I never, I don't even remember seeing him, but my dad knew him. And. and but no Mary. Yeah, the name is familiar, but I don't remember okay. that. It's a long time ago. Yeah, I understand that <laughs> to some degree. Um, I can't think of any more questions unless you. Good. Unless you just want to spill out. <laughs> you can tell us things we didn't know about. I mean, I'm okay. Just uh, not. I promise I'll erase the tape if you want. Yeah. <laughs> you what? I said, if you, if you say something you shouldn't say, I'll erase it for Good. you. Good. It's too bad my brother Raleigh isn't here, because he probably could give you a lot more information than I have given him. Not, not of before he was born, but I mean after. Yeah, after that. Well, you have her address, do you not? Yes, I do. So we, and her phone number. We put this together, we'll make you a DVD and send it to you. Oh, yeah. That's uh, do you have a DVD player? No, we don't. You know, but you I eventually, I'll eventually get something to knock on the neighbor's door and say, "Can you play this for me?" Yeah, I. The nephew that was up here, I'm sure uh -huh. has. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you remember that with yes. John? Uh, yes. 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 And and where where do they live now? Well, he lives uh, in Punta Gorda, Florida mm -hmm. now. But he was living when he saw you in Boynton Beach, Florida. Okay. Well, thank you for bringing that up, and, and thank you for driving for four hours to get here to add to part of our history. I, I thought I would never get here, but I'm up here. You took the time. Oh, well, this is wonderful. That was I, that's super. I mean, I never thought I'd meet anybody with pictures like that yeah. and some of that story. I said, knock, yeah. you knocked my socks off. Yeah, and I see your pilot's association. Are you Read that from there. It says yes. Seaplane. Yep. He used to fly in and see us in a seaplane. Mm -hmm.